Welcome back to another video guys, so in this one I'm going to be showing you the new ship that I've made uh, so I've decided to start a new uh, series focusing on Dutch 17th century ships the first ship that I decided to make, as you can see here, is a ship of the line I based this one off the Seven Provinces, which is a Dutch ship of the line uh, I think made in 1665 so I've upped the scale by 1.5 um, so from about I think 47 meters for the gun deck to about 69 uh, blocks uh, So I'll begin by going through the construction stages uh, So obviously the first stage where I've created a plan for the ship I've included the bird's eye view on there as well including the cabin so the second stage where I created the frame, I actually included the beak head and cabin into this just to give me a better idea of how it was going to look when it was uh, finished. So it's not something that I usually do but I think for this case it uh, helps slightly, definitely the cabin. So the completed hull. quite basic so far and the the deck so I've not included too much detail at this stage I've added in some supports which I don't usually do um, which adds a certain amount of interior detail and the uh, rigging and spars finished at this stage actually began to add a colour scheme uh, just a very basic one at this stage and the sails which I actually put a significant amount of effort into um, compared to what I usually do so I've curved them slightly they look fa uh, fairly flat at the top but I think I've done yeah quite quite a good job on the sails probably uh, probably the best sails that I've, that I've made so far um, so the completed stage I actually decided to put on some uh, stay sails because I when I was doing my final checks I actually saw a model um, that included some stay sales so I decided just to add, add those to see how they'd look and I think they add you know, a good amount of detail so I'll just circle around the ship give you some nice views of it so I've, of course I've gone for some Dutch flags and a Dutch styled colour scheme I have seen some models that um, had a slightly lighter colour uh, coloured colour scheme um, but I've decided to go for this one I quite like the um, how it looks actually so I'll start um, I'll start on the cabin because it's a an area that I've actually put a lot of effort into as you can hopefully see um, so to begin on the side I've included this um, this cabin I'm not sure what it's called but um, yeah I've made it slightly smaller than what you'd probably see on the real version, it only covers one deck. You can see I've got, whoops, a large window here and a smaller one here. I um, actually thought that was a beacon. Might be a little mistake there that I need to uh, correct. On the uh, the back, of course, I've included more of the same, just a lot of random details, um, just to add add to the depth. Some lamps at the top. I can't really explain all of this, it's just, um, yeah, like I said, random little details that I think look good and aren't necessarily realistic. So I've gone for this cannon port design again, and obviously this um, mixed block technique, which I think in particular has helped me uh, add these stripes. I think the stripes look very, very good on this ship because obviously I'm limited to room um, with the scale I've got. Just a, um, like I said, a limited amount of blocks to work with, so it's difficult sometimes to add uh, some stripes to that. Um, so the beak head, so I've um, sort of split this off into sections, so we've got a spruce slab layer at the top, gold layer, an iron layer, and then a sandstone slab layer with fences behind those. An anchor there. Okay, um, I've added a decent amount of detail to the the top deck. I haven't really included anything else to the to the other decks. I think it's probably not worth um, much time because I don't tend to 
go inside the, the ship so I might in the near future add a small amount of detail perhaps the cabin like you can see here maybe add some basic rooms to the, the rest of the decks but I won't focus on those in this video you can see the whip staff there I'm not sure if this ship actually had a wheel or a just a sort of staff so I've just used a galleon diagram and seen that um, I've just copied what a, di uh, what a galleon would have basically uh, lifeboat there of course made out of sandstone and birch nice Okay, so if you've got any uh, constructive criticism um, for this ship, guys, please uh, include that in the comments because it's not, of course, it's not finished yet. <clears throat> so I've actually included a some um, command block cannons, a system of command block cannons. So if I press the button here, it will actually fire its cannons. So I thought that was a. a Slightly nice feature that I could include in the video. Just turn the lighting down, you can see that a bit easier. So, once again, guys, if you've got any ideas of how I could improve the ship, uh, please let, uh, leave that in the comments. As usual, I will leave a link to a schematic download as well as more pictures of the ship. So, uh, as usual, guys, thanks for watching.